Hello, and welcome to Nintendo Enthusiast Indie Corner. I'm Jay, and I'll be listing off a total of 120 plus upcoming Wii U indie titles through 14 quick videos and describe why they're an interesting addition to the Wii U library. Today, we're going to focus on action adventure games, listing as many as I can, all within five minutes. First off, we have Hyperlight Drifter, developed by Heart Machine. Hyperlight Drifter offers a dark and fantastic world to explore through its pastel pixel art dreamscape, offering players hordes of enemies to mow down. This title draws inspiration for its gameplay from great titles such as A Link to the Past and Diablo. Also to note, the music is composed by Rick Vreeland, famous for his work in Fez. Hyperlight Drifter is expected to release this holiday season. Next up, we have Cry More, developed by Nostalgico Inc. This game offers character designs reminiscent of Breath of Fire and Kingdom Hearts. The game's storytelling is also supported by a full cast of notable voice actors with resumes that range from Dragon Ball Z and World of Warcraft. Cry More describes itself as a blend of steampunk, Zelda, Secret of Mana, and Mega Man. No official release date has yet been given. Moving on, we have It'll Do, developed by Ludosity. This title's main gameplay is based around the use of three items which must be combined in different ways to solve puzzles. Players can expect old-school Zelda-style dungeons and structure with a heavy focus on humor. Speedrunners will be happy to hear this game has been built with them in mind, offering shortcuts and online leaderboards. It'll Do is expected to land on the Wii U sometime in the first quarter of this year. Next we have CrossCode developed by Radical Fish Games. CrossCode combines retro style 2D graphics with a unique theme of throwing energy balls at everything. This title offers epic boss fights, switch based puzzles with escalating difficulty all within a sci-fi robotics laboratory setting. No release date has yet been announced for the Wii U version of this game. Next on the list is The Girl and the Robot developed by Flying Carpets. Take on the role of a young girl trying to escape from a castle ruled by an evil queen. On her adventure, she meets a mysterious robot which she can control by using a magical pendant. The game will boast full 3D environments as well as an art direction reminiscent of Miyazaki and Studio Ghibli's animated film, Castle in the Sky. No Wii U release date has yet been announced. Next up is Mauve, developed by Forge Vault. Earn valuable rewards as you pursue a relentless quest to become a warrior in this alien-themed game. Allowing players to switch between overhead and side-scrolling perspectives, Mauve offers a twist on the traditional loot-based fantasy titles such as Diablo. There's still no word on an official release date. Stick It to the Man is next on the list. Developed by Zoint Games, Stick It to the Man features Ray, a character who has the power to read minds and change the world with stickers. Presented with a unique paper cutout art direction and some twisted humor, this is one game to keep an eye on. Expect to see this title on Wii U's coming this spring. Up next is Sword and Board, developed by Robert Busse. Fight your way through environments based on childhood daydreams such as pillow forts and cardboard forests. Test out different items, combinations for varied effects. Sword and Board is currently scheduled for a summer release. Continuing down this list, Night and the Ghost Lights, developed by Mobot Studios. This title delivers a mixture of adventure, storytelling, and action using beautiful claymation aesthetics created with stop motion animation. The game contains metroidvania exploration as well as individual stories for several characters in a world filled with its own history. Night and the Ghost Lights is tentatively scheduled for a spring release. Coming next from developer Morgan Dagg is Rimmed Ressa. Explore deep space through this producedly generated poetic space odyssey to discover hundreds of objects, randomized loot, ship customization, custom ship soundtracks, and much more. Coming to the eShop this spring. Next title is Wizard's Lizard, developed by Lost Decade Games. Explore ever-changing dungeons filled with powerful weapons and items in this action RPG. Rescue villagers to improve your town and increase your power for the next dungeon. A release date has yet to be announced. Squid's Odyssey, developed by the Game Bakers, takes you on an underwater adventure to save your underwater kingdom from an insidious black ooze. This turn-based RPG introduces a unique fling mechanic allowing you to throw your squid into the battlefield. Squid Odyssey is expected to be available on the eShop this coming spring. Next on the list, Project Cider, developed by Xander Davis. Using the top-down perspective and inspired by the combat mechanics in Zelda, Project Cider takes you through a sci-fi adventure with comic book action effects. A release date has yet to be announced. Moving to our next title, Delver's Drop, developed by Pixelscopic. Delver's Drop is a 2D action RPG with fluid physics-based movement, snappy combat, shifting dungeons, and a rogues gallery of character classes. The game places emphasis on mystery and dynamic gameplay experiences. As for a release date, we're still in the dark on that one. Nearing the end of our list, The Sun at Night, developed by Minicore Studios. The Sun at Night is a 2D action platformer about Soviet Russia's experiment where they sent dogs into space. 
The game features deep skill trees for rich character customization and large, non-linear levels based on real locations. Still no details as to an official eShop release date. Last but not least, there's Blossom's Tale, developed by Robert Mayer. In this indie title, you play as a knight hunting down ingredients for a potion to cure a poison king. The game draws inspiration for a link to the past and has yet to announce an official release date. And that covers our list of action adventure games for today. Thanks for joining me, and for more Wii U indie game lists and coverage, tune in to NintendoEnthusiast.com.